Hey guys, Proper English here. Today we're going to take a look at some memory. We're going to get into SR latches. Now you might have heard SR latches referred to as RS NOR latches. Now an RS NOR latch refers to a very specific design using NOR gates, but not all SR latches are RS NOR latches, okay? So I'm just going to use the term SR latches, but just to get rid of any little bit of confusion there. So uh, yeah, so what do these do? Well, with an SR latch, you've got a set and a reset, okay? So you can turn the circuit on with one button push, so you can see the output over here is on, and then you can reset it to zero, turning it off with the other button push. Now the output is off, and the way it works in this design over here is what we're doing is when I set it, I'm powering this torch, okay? This goes on, and then because this output's off over here, it allows this torch to turn on and when this turns on, it keeps this one off. So let's take a look at how that goes. All right, and there we go. So, so yeah, so when this power came through here, it turned this torch off, all right? This one was able to come on, turns the output on, and it also holds this one off. So now let's take a look at this little bit uh, more advanced design over here. So we've got our set over here, and when we hit it, this loop turns on and what's going on here is we're just creating a loop of signal. It loops around and it stays there. It holds the state of the cell. That's your memory. And now we can reset that by breaking this line here so it no longer completes the loop. And there we go. And those are two simple designs for an SR latch. I highly recommend using this one. This one's really cool. You can actually modify this a little bit to get something that's kind of like a D flip flop. We call it a basil flop after the guy who invented it. And, uh, and I will show you guys that next time. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you find these useful. And I'll see you guys next time.